Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to the complete Salesforce for Certified Platform Developer 1 course. Uh, this is section 0, Introduction, and this is the first lecture about this course. Uh, first of all, uh, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Walid al -Hur. I'm an IT professional with more than 10 years experience in IT. Uh, let me tell you this about myself. Uh, I got my first PC when I was 8 years old, and since then I was hooked. So it was easy for me to choose a major. So I did major in computer science. I got my BS and my MS in computer science. And I'm currently a Salesforce admin, a business analyst, and developer. Uh, I started with Salesforce back in 2014. Uh, I currently hold five uh, Salesforce certifications. And I do blog about Salesforce at sfdcnotes.com. Uh, I am an active member of the Salesforce success community. I'm also the leader of the Salesforce Riyadh Saudi Arabia user group and the success community. Uh, and finally, I am a mentor at the Salesforce Mentorship Center program. Uh, this is basically a program where if you need any uh, help in Salesforce, uh, if you need any guidance, you can go, uh, you can sign up as a mentee, and then you can choose your own uh, mentor who will guide you uh, throughout your Salesforce requirements. Now, why become a Salesforce developer? Uh, first of all, uh, Salesforce and the Force.com platform are really booming. Uh, there is a huge demand for Salesforce professionals, uh, be it admins, uh, analysts, consultants, developers, and so on. Uh, and at the same time, uh, this is the era of developers. The demand for developers in general has never uh, been higher. So if you combine the high demand for Salesforce professionals and uh, the high demand for developers, you can know that the demand for Salesforce developers is huge at that time. Uh, now let's talk about this course and its format. Uh, this course will cover the entire Salesforce Certified Platform Developer 1 certification. It follows exactly uh, the official study guide uh, of this certification, and I will update this course on each and every release if necessary. Uh, the meaning of that is that the lectures of this course uh, follow exactly the different topics uh, of the study guide. So on the right side, you can see we have uh, many different topics, each one with a percentage. Uh, this is from uh, the study guide and it is exactly the same uh, in this course uh, for example this is section 3 uh, in the study guide as you can see uh, it is 46 percent and it has many uh, subtopics in this course uh, this section will have these different uh, subtopics each one of them will have its own uh, powerpoint slide uh, i will first explain each one of these subtopics uh, using powerpoint and then we will jump right into my salesforce org to show you the concepts of this uh, subtopic in action. And finally, uh, the total length of this course is more than 14 hours. Uh, the good news uh, is that I will be sharing with you these presentations as PDF, uh, so you can download them and you can study them uh, offline. Uh, and each subtopic will have many links uh, and supporting documents. Uh, this is something like links uh, to trailhead modules, uh, links uh, to the official Salesforce documentation, and finally, uh, many different supporting documents. Uh, I know how important uh, quizzes are. They are very useful to test your knowledge uh, of each one of the subjects. Uh, for that, each section will have its own quiz uh, at the end. Uh, and I made all of these quiz questions based on the lectures and on real life scenarios. And the questions are 100% uh, dump free. Guys, I hate dumps. I have never used dumps in my IT certifications and I don't want you to rely on dumps to pass this exam. Uh, and finally, just a quick note. Uh, guys, I was there. I did not even know what DML is, what MVC is, what on earth is Apex, and so on. I was there. I gathered tons uh, of information from various sources on the internet. I sat for many different courses, uh, be it free courses, paid courses, and so on. I put everything in this course. I put my whole uh, energy in this course. Uh, for that, I will make sure that you guys not only pass uh, the exam, uh, of this certification, but you also understand each one of the concepts in each one of the sections and of the subsections. Uh, good luck and let's get started.